wanted to take him to the hospital, but he wasn't having it. He said if he landed in hospital, your dad would put him in a care home. So we just took him home. We had cups of tea and... And fig rolls. He was so lovely. I told him all about Curtis. And he was such a good listener. He gave me good advice, too. He said that he'd hurt his leg a while ago. It slipped at the cenotaph. Something about a, a randy pigeon and a bottle of absinthe. He made us laugh. We really liked him. What does PC tinker for him? He doesn't. Everything that Craig has done has been to protect me and our unborn child. I went to the funeral because I wanted to pay my respects. I've thought about him every day since. He's been eating away at her, and me and all. And then we fell in love. Didn't we, though? Yes. Look, me and Craig, we told her to finish with you. The stakes were too high. I so wanted to come clean, but now they're having a baby, we couldn't risk prison or Craig losing his job. Look, John, I'm so sorry. Meeting you was the one good thing to come out of this, but if I could turn back the clock, I would call the ambulance in a heartbeat. Me and you would never have met, but lovely Ted would still be alive. <laughs> I love you too, John. Like you wouldn't believe. We could have had a great life together. I love you, John. That's the truth.